Day seven. After stem cell injections. Uh, let's see. Quick recap is that I uh, had uh, MRIs injections last Monday. MRIs and or IV MRI and IVs Monday. MRI IVs on Tuesday. <clears throat> And this is when I was down for the CPI. Uh, Monday, it was from about 8.30 in the morning is when I think they picked me up. And I think I got back to the hotel around 5.30. Uh, they picked us up. Yeah, they picked us up 8.30 or 9.30 in Monday. They picked us up in San Diego. They took us down. Uh, we were going to check in at the Hyatt in Tijuana, however, I wasn't able to fully check in because I had to go to MRI, so I had to take my bags with me. Luckily, I only had a backpack. Uh, MRIs were done Monday. Monday night around 5.30, I checked into the Hyatt. Uh, <clears throat> Tuesday, they picked me up at like 8.30, and I was doing MRIs until around 4, and then I went to an IV and it was like three hour something long IV. Uh, so I returned to the Hyatt on Tuesday around 8.30. Wednesday, um, <clears throat> I had some IV stuff done. And then uh, Wednesday was the day of the injection. So I had my injections done. Those are all, all that stuff's already documented, just recapping. And then uh, I stayed overnight in a hospital on Wednesday night and that there was some pain and stuff involved but then uh, Wednesday Thursday uh, we had IVs uh, we had uh, meetings with the doctor and then uh, we went back to the hotel I think I got back to the hotel Thursday around 4 30 or 5 30 in the evening and then uh, Friday we went in there was a IV <clears throat> uh, and then we left and we went back and they returned us to San Diego um, so Friday afterward I felt fantastic I felt really good I felt like you know like slow and kind of stiff but I felt really good um, Pain, because I had like a lot of pain just in the shoulder. I don't know. It uh, just affects, affects everybody differently. Um, and then uh, Saturday, I felt wonderful. I felt what, Saturday morning was just great. But then all of a sudden, it was like Saturday as the day went on, it just declined. I just started feeling miserable. Uh, just felt very like physically uncomfortable and everything. Uh, Sunday was a rough day. I felt not great on Sunday. I tried just go getting outside. I uh, just, um, I'm following everything that they've told me as far as like no activity, no workouts, stuff like that. Um, you can go for walks, you can do regular tasks, tasks throughout the day. It's just if you start feeling like sweating or in that area is getting sore or something, you're supposed to stop because that means that you're working it out too much. Um, so Sunday I tried just doing some little stuff here in our yard and just couldn't do it. Just felt miserable. Monday was a rough day. Uh, Monday, <clears throat> let's see, I went back to work and I went into the office on Monday. Monday is normally a work from home day, but I knew I was going to have a lot of work to do. So went in there and just terrible. Uh, Tuesday, I don't think was much better. Wednesday, I started feeling... A little bit better um, which yesterday was Thursday I was feeling better uh, and today so far this morning I feel pretty good um, now everybody wants to know results right well there's no real results right now um, so essentially what they had explained is that uh, if you have disc, disc or some type of pain like that uh, and you feel an immediate type of relief 
it's not from the stem cells. As much as they would love to make the claim that it's from the stem cells, they reassured us it was probably just because when that disc is injected with the needle, there is a release of pressure uh, that happens, and that's what our immediate uh, um, loss of pain or reduction of pain could be from. And uh, I, I did feel that. Uh, I do feel that, and that's absolutely wonderful. Uh, I, let's see, my neck typically has a sharp and a dull pain. Right now, there's just a dull pain, uh, which is great. That's great. Um, so whatever they did, I did, uh, I think it was like eight injections in my neck and six in my lower back. Uh, <clears throat> so the two severely herniated discs in my, between my C, or like the C6 and C7. So the C6 and then the C7 discs, I don't know how it, whatever, but the two bottom discs, those were severely herniated. Uh, those were directly injected and then several facets, uh, above that. <clears throat> were injected um, lower back the C7 or L7 L7 and S1 or something anyway um, so that was injected uh, I still have uncomfortable feeling in my back um, it's not quite heightened as much as it was before and then uh, again just a dull pain in my neck um, my shoulder uh, hurts substantially more uh, it right in here it's really painful but again this is something that they stated that it was going to be painful uh they prepped us for it they let us know that um they're going for inflammation and so when they inject they want that area to become inflamed because then the body sends whatever it does to go fix that area and uh, it finds the stem cells and then it starts to proper repair of that area that's how they explained it I'm just gonna believe it I'm not gonna look it up I'm not gonna read into it because then if I start reading into it then skeptical stuff comes in and skepticism and whatever uh, don't want to do it just want to believe it so I'm just gonna believe I'm gonna be naive again and I'm okay with that I just believe that it's all gonna get fixed uh, my knees uh, knees are good uh, they did 10 million in each knee, 10 million in my shoulder, and then like 130 some, 140, 140, no, 110 million, 110 million, I think it was a total of 140, yeah. So 10, 10, 10, and then 110 in the spine area. Uh, then 90 million was done intravenously, so I don't know, no results or anything. I don't have anything immediate to update uh, as far as any relief, but I keep getting a lot of text message, emails, and phone calls. Thank you all. I really do appreciate it, by the way, uh, reaching out, wanting to know um, what's going on, how I'm feeling, if I'm okay, what's the results. Um, so... Uh, I'm not going to keep video logs of this like every day. I know somebody was asking for an everyday update, but I'm not going to do an everyday update because uh, I just don't think the majority of people care about seeing every day. Um, plus, there's not, it, it's, uh, your body's healing, you know, like if you get a cut or a sprain or something, it, it just takes time to heal. So trying to talk about it every day is, most days are redundant. Um, so this is the one week, uh, so last Friday was my last day there, this is Friday, something about a week, so close enough, and as far as what I'm calculating for me, uh, yeah, so <clears throat> the sharp pain is gone, uh, as far as out of my, my neck and my lower back as of right now, it doesn't mean it won't return. Again, they say three months before you really get to notice results, and that's because your body is building and creating new tissue and uh, just what it does. Like, again, if you have, like, a, a, a sprained ankle or whatever else, uh, it just takes time. 
So this will take time. Um, I'll probably do and try to do another update in maybe three weeks or something. I don't know. I don't really keep track of this stuff. It's just when I get an overload of people asking about it, I just decide I'll just put something out, let everyone know all at the same time. It seems to be a little bit easier. Um, I've gotten positive feedback. People saying that they like having it like this, so they don't. They can just listen to it, uh, and then they can stop and listen to parts again. I guess I don't know. Maybe it's the way I talk. They don't understand. It's okay. Uh, <clears throat> other than that, that's it. That was Cellular Performance Institute so far. Uh, one week out. No real big change. Nothing. Uh, amazing or anything like that to report on but I am thankful as far as being able to have some of that sharp pain alleviated uh, I was joking around with somebody and I was like man if I knew that was the case I would have had doctors injecting those discs with needles years ago so <laughs> I could have uh, stopped having that pain before but whatever uh, it's done now it's good to go um, again I'm following everything they said there's like no alcohol no smoking uh, no anti-inflammatories, uh, no physical activities like heavy physical activity or anything like that, and that's what I'm sticking to. Uh, no matter what, that's I'm following that as closely as I can for the next three months. Now they did say in six to eight weeks because I had a phone call yesterday uh, with a doctor for a follow-up, and he did say six to eight weeks I can start looking at doing some type of physical therapy. He said, but keep it at a minimum uh, until I hit the three-month mark. Um, and then at the three-month mark, so you do a little physical therapy at six to eight weeks. It depends on how you feel. Uh, six to eight weeks, you start doing physical therapy. Uh, you hit that three-month mark, and then you can just start doing mild workouts. And when they say mild, it's very mild. Uh, he said, nothing strenuous. Don't put any uh, uh, strain on any of the areas that I had injected should not have any strain on them, any pressure. Uh, <clears throat> they remember down in the facility uh, at CPI, they did indicate, like I had my knees done, and they said you don't like do like full below plane squats. That's where like people squat all the way down and like, so their knees bend like this and they try to put their like butt on the, the floor or something, but he's like, don't do any of those. Um, he's like, it's okay if you do squats, don't do anything strenuous after you've had knee injections, take it real slow. And I'm following all of that. I'm just going to do it. Uh, I'm not going to know better. I'm not going to think I know better. I'm not going to think I know my body better. Uh, I'm just doing exactly what they've outlined, following it. So I really want to just get the optimal results. Uh, and I believe that if I listen to what they say, that will give me the optimal results. They know better. Uh, they've been doing this for many years, so follow the experts, right? Uh, other than that, uh, I think that's it. Six to eight weeks. Uh, I'll be doing uh, some physical therapy, and then, yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, like I said, maybe in about a month or so, if I remember, or if I start getting a lot of questions come in, I'll uh, post a new update. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day.